Chipolotti. Gotta get me one for Christmas. I kind of ate everything last night. I don't do shots. Apparently I do. everybody welcome back to another video happy saturday sunday for you when you're watching this i'm actually on my way down to bunclody now to hers and sirs where danny's mother is going to chop my locks off i've been thinking about doing this for a while and really making a change to my hair i feel like it's just been really dead on my head lately and since i've finished exams and there's a whole heap of changes happening i thought why not change my hair as well danny's mother has been doing my hair for a good few years now and i've always been absolutely delighted with the results She's an incredible hairdresser, so if anybody in the local area is looking for a really, really good hairdresser that you can genuinely know and guarantee you're gonna get a, a good result from, I would go to hers and sirs. And that's not being biased, it's being genuine because I have gone to other stylists in the past and I haven't been as happy with the cut on my hair. It's been fine for like two or three days and then it's hard to manage. It sounds like I'm being really biased when I'm genuinely not. I would tell you if I didn't like something, you know that by now. <laughs> So I think I'm gonna go short. You'll have to stay tuned and wait and see. I hope you're all having a really relaxing and chill weekend, enjoying the fabulous weather. I know in Europe it's not so good. Here it's absolutely incredible. We're up in the 20s every day. We've been really, really lucky. But today is very, very busy for us. So I've got my hair. Then we've got to go shopping for a present for my cousin who turns 30. Happy birthday, Cloda. Cloda used to mind me when I was a child. So this is making me feel incredibly old as well. So we have an action-packed weekend planned and that's exactly how I like it to be. I don't like sitting around for too long. Really, really excited for the barbecue this evening. I haven't seen my family for, gosh, quite a long time now. I would say all of them together, it's been about a year. Looking forward to a good catch up with everybody and I really, really hope you enjoy today's video. <laughs> I'm back, I've had my hair did. <laughs> I feel like a new person. I don't know, let me know in the comments what you think. I'm gonna be playing with it like this all day. I feel so much lighter, I feel like it's edgier. So you can kind of see now exactly what I meant by a guaranteed good cut and guaranteed happiness if you go and have Melissa cut your hair. <laughs> I'm so happy with it. And this is kind of how it sits. Just turn around and that's the back. I'm very, very happy with it. I absolutely love it. Does anybody else find that packing a bag is just the biggest process in the world. Can I employ somebody as my backpacker, please? <laughs> Leave your CV below. Ability to pack bags required. All right guys, this is how I decided to style my new do for the party, which I think is quite cute. A little bit of a fringe I got, and then a cute little pony at the back, just to show off all the layers. And my fringe on the other side. I hope I actually showed you in the frame because I was more looking at myself in the mirror. As you do. Hashtag new hair who dis. Okay, Rosie, here are the ground rules. Be good for daddy. Yes, be good. And take your tablets at eight o'clock. Okay? That's better. We're on our way in to Kilkenny and realized that I actually don't particularly enjoy drinking bottles upon bottles upon bottles of cider. So I'm gonna go and get a bottle of Prosecco. Absolute notions, all of us who drink Prosecco, probably from a mug. <laughs> I just want to grab some snacks as well. You can't show up to a barbecue empty handed people, bad etiquette. Angela Davies never fails to amuse me. She's looking for tortillas, not just cheesy tortillas, but like chili tortillas. I picked these up, they're the closest thing she's going to get. Chipotle flavour? Oh no, chipolote. 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 <laughs> what is a chipotle? Chip chipotle. No. Chipotle. Chipotle. Anyway, I need to get a gym. Chipotle is That's a flavour. Chipotle. I don't know what this woman is talking about. Chipotle is her sausage, aren't they? I don't know what I mean. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Everybody come and get your chipotle sausage. Phones are there, aren't they, in the front? Yeah. Come on, Miss Chipotle. Chipotle. Let's go. Very cute. Little mouths. Little mouths. Like you playing with my shoes? Are you playing with my shoes? Is that fun? Is that super fun? Yeah. Oh. Is this the fellow with the squash on the face then? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Those are my Auntie Olivia's puppies, and oh my god, they're so cute. So cute. Please, Danny, get me one for Christmas. <laughs> But we're just after rolling up to the party now, to the barbecue, and I think I'll put the camera away for a couple of hours just so that people don't feel in any way awkward, because this is a hard thing to do, especially if you're not used to the camera being in your face. So I will talk to you in a few minutes, and if not, I will talk to you tomorrow. Good 
morning everybody Some, sometimes there are no words the correct words can't be found to summarize an experience so great yet so painful the next day I always find the transformation from party to post party hilarious I think today is going to be a very quiet day I haven't had anything to eat yet kind of, kind of ate everything last night like I mean everything grapes Pringles, burgers, sausages. I was eating everything. <sighs> I feel like a normal human, almost. I have a question for everybody. So I just came home. I was craving a tuna and sweet corn and mayonnaise sandwich as my hangover food. Now some people think that's so weird. They're like, why would you eat fish when you're hungover? I just really crave oily fish. I don't know. What is your cure? I'm curious, let me know in the comments. God, I really feel and look completely different without my hair everywhere. Ah, so strange. Rosie is following me up the garden with her little baby toy that she is stupidly obsessed with. Is that your baby? Is it? Is that your baby? I was kind of worrying how obsessed she has become with this toy. A lot of people's dogs though, I've been hearing stories about them adopting toys as kind of like their children and getting really possessive over it. So she's definitely not unusual with it, but I think it's funny. I don't know how to take it off her because she's getting a little bit anxious. Pet owners, if your dogs have become obsessive over toys, any advice how to take it off her and not have her stressed over it? So 20 minutes later, Rosie is still walking around with her baby. She's now trying to bury the baby in the plant pot. She's taking it with her. <sighs> so I think while I'm incapacitated for the rest of the day, I want to plan out what recipes that I want to make this week. I'm thinking about making a quiche and it's my birthday on Friday and Danny has told me that he is getting me ceramic baking beans so that I can bake pastry blind. So I'm very, 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 very excited to be able to make some de decent pastry dishes and I will be showing you all of them as soon as I have them perfected and mastered. So I need to go in now and get my recipe book out and my laptop and figure out what I'm going to make. Who else, and I'm definitely not the only one who does this, watches your Snapchats or your Instagram stories back the day after night out and you're just like, that wasn't me, who was that person? Sorry, I'm, I don't dance on stools. Jane does. I have an alter ego and when she comes out dancing on tables, she's dancing on stools, she's doing shots. I don't do shots. Apparently I do. But there's one thing that is always, always, always guaranteed. If you ever come out with me or any of my family, you will have a fantastic time. The reeds never fail to throw an absolutely banging party and God, I can't wait till the next one. Whenever that might be. Samantha, Brian, waiting for a ring on it. Come on, Brian. I've also just looked at the time and realized that it's half four and I'm supposed to have this vlog up by eight. Hmm. All right, everybody, I am gonna end today's vlog there. I know there wasn't much said today or yesterday for that matter, but it really was one of those days where your family are around and you don't wanna pick up the camera an awful, awful lot. So I will say good night. It is, I have no watch on, God. It's actually just coming up six o'clock, so I might be able to get this video out if I'm really good. Go downstairs and get my laptop out right now, wish me luck. It was such a lovely, lovely weekend. I wish we could all do it more often, but I think if we did, we'd all be semi-dead. If you like this video, everybody, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe if you haven't already. I only have six days to try and make it to 500 subscribers, which was my birthday goal. Thank you so much for watching. The hair is cut and I am done for the day. I will see you in my next video, everybody. Bye.